Hi, uh, I'm Jesse. Uh, today we're playing Purge the Alien with a Vanguard um, deployment setup. I'm rocking a Tau army with uh, new Eldar allies um, sitting in reserve right now. Dun dun dun. And um, as you can see, I have the basic uh, Tau gun line set up um, with some, some crew ready to uh, block any drop pods that he's inevitably going to be bringing. And um, he's going to be taking first turn, and we're just going to see who can kill the most units. Yeah, it's going to be a tricky one. Vanguard was not something I was uh, I was planning on, but it's, it's going to change the game a lot. All right, we're going to get back to you guys at the bottom of turn one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Okay, Jesse, go ahead and bring us into the bottom of one. What happened? All right, so... Um, Basically, we did a lot of Tau shooting. Uh, the gun line removed the uh, Space Marines that were right here. Um, a lot of marker light hits to support that. Yeah, um, without those marker lights, you might not have gotten that. The marker lights definitely came in came in handy. Uh, the broadsides were able to split their fire and take out the two armor um, vehicles. He had. Boom, and then this guy is representing it. Okay, the, the crater. Yes. And um, the Riptide was able to get a shot in and take out some... Uh, some long fangs. Yep. Popped a couple long fangs, but we're still hanging tough. And uh, and we're about to head into turn two. All right, we'll go back to you at the bottom of two, guys. Okay. So what's up, Jesse? So we just uh, wrapped up turn two. Um, we dropped the drop pod in, and uh, that squad's been eliminated, but he did a little bit of damage on the fire warriors. Yeah, um, the squad itself actually picked off the farseer, which was crucial, crucial, because now he can't really re-roll as much as he wants to. And his flyer did the uh, did the excellent job of eliminating the Riptide. He is no more. Which really took down this left flank um, quite significantly. And now we kind of have two gun lines facing each other from across the no man's land here. And Tau have better shot at And Tau are the gun Better line. ballistics. <laughs> better ballistics. So. So. Well, that's all my fast attack for this army, so I'm pretty much screwed. All right, we'll get back, into, we'll get back to you at the bottom of three. All right, Jesse, so bring us in. So, we just wrapped up um, turn three. It was a much less eventful uh, turn. The Vendetta went down, and uh, all the Imperial Guard met a, a grisly death um, that were inside of that. They're not apparently airborne troopers. They, are, they were not airborne troopers. And, um, so there's, there's really not much going on this last turn. Yeah, he's... Um, making a charge up towards the middle here, trying to get into range. Brave Long Fangs, going in for the team. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if they can make a dent in this gun line. Yeah. Go ahead. So, we've wrapped up uh, turn four, and um, still pretty, pretty uh, easy going here. Not many units getting line of sight or range on one another. Um, the drop pods have been crucial this whole the game. Drop pods were the ones that made things happen. Uh, the fire warriors have started to advance past the gun line here, uh, hopefully to get some some uh, more units within firing. And we have uh, our fast Eldar and Tau uh, units moving up the right flank, and the broadsides just keep doing the work from behind. Whereas we have the quad cannon uh, putting in a little bit of work. Oh yeah, the Icarus last cannon, proxy. Uh, right, exactly. And uh, I think we might see some models drop this turn. Yeah, um, Space Wolves are just doing what they can. We kind of got shitted out when our, our Vendetta passed out. That was that was our ace in the hole for this game, but um, it's all good. It's been a good game, so we'll see what happens at the bottom of five. So what happened, Jesse? So, um, basically what's happened is not very many people died. The the drop pods uh, got blew up. And, dum, dum, dum. Um, took out a bunch of fire warriors with them. <laughs> yeah. The at least six, I think. At least six or seven. At least six or seven fire warriors. Yeah. These guys passed their leadership check. I was hoping they'd run off the board. Yeah. And um, and these guys here uh, continue to take Tau gunfire without dropping. They took punishment. They're very resilient. He's not afraid. <laughs> And um, we're about to roll to see if this game is over. All right, here we go. <laughs> it continues. It's a, it's a three. Wait, I'm, I'm using the wrong. Okay, there we go. It's a three. It's spun on the one. We'll get back to you at the bottom of the turn. Hey there, everybody. Mike getting back to you. We're at the bottom of six, 
and uh, it's pretty much a wrap for us. As you can see, his guys are still there, still strong. My guys are just fighting to survive. So we've got no more reason to continue this game. All right, guys, take it easy.